Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Create a new wiki under the Modern UI System Management Wiki Preferences Wiki Menu option. The built-in help uses help root underscore plus the name of the module it applies to. For my example, I choose Corporate Root Dictionary. And for the sitemap title name, I put Corporate Dictionary Wiki. I add this to the help dashboard and give it a, a sequence of 99. I will come back later and add my default article after it's created. I set my article type to article since this isn't a knowledge base article. I will come back and set a default site map tag later after I create one. From here I'm ready to start creating my pages. I navigate to the help dashboard main screen, find my corporate dictionary wiki, open it up, and then using the plus sign I will create a new page giving it an article ID, a name, and then any body of the text that I want to start off with. I can always edit this later or add to it. The article is currently loaded and located in a deleted folder, so I want to move it to the corporate dictionary wiki folder. A quick save and we're ready for our article to be published. But before we do that, let's quickly create a couple more sample pages uh, to further expand our wiki. Here are some examples of ways that you can use the wiki markup language and the built-in features of uh, Acumatica's dashboarding language to quickly create headers or even alert boxes or text boxes uh, to easily format your wiki pages. All of your revisions are tracked and changed. Um, you can upload files to be used uh, either for download from those wiki pages or displayed as embedded picture objects or video objects um, like pictured here. By clicking on the attachment and using the get link button, you get the wiki friendly link version. Go to your content and just paste that link in and it will be added to your page. Save and then view and you can display that. Then if we go back into our edit and click on our history tab and select two different versions of a wiki, then use the compare button, we can look and see the highlighted changes from what was changed from one version to the next version, making it very easy to quickly identify what has been removed or added or modified to your wiki. Depending on the sensitivity of the nature of the information contained within our wiki, we may want to control who can respond or make changes to it, or what access rights people have to view, edit, or add and delete new wikis. Those can be done either at the individual article level or at the wiki level itself, making it very easy to control who sees what and who can modify or add stuff. When we're ready to publish, we go ahead and remove this article from being on hold. and it is now out there in the environment to be seen unless we have some kind of approval process set up. Because wikis are core in the design features of Acumatica, we can easily set up a second page that we could use for something like corporate communication and then merge this page in with our daily or corporate dashboard 
and be able to have an inspirational widget quickly added and changeable and controllable by our marketing or communications department without a lot of fuss on programming this knowledge necessary. Since this corporate dashboard is easily uh, displayable to all employees when they log into Acumatica, it makes it a handy place for notifications, communications, or even sharing of training material, uh, especially using the help feature. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.